Hey guys, right, this is one from my, my, my hero, my old mate Jason, but uh, by the way mate, um, I think he was on the multi-drops about three days and he said, I can't do it, I hate the multi-drops, I really hope something comes your way, genuinely do, I really do, so good luck with anything. He did a question, um, he said, what's with all the t-shirts? He says, you've got loads and loads of t-shirts, it's this firm called Last Exit to Nowhere, and um, my cousin Darren got me, my cousin Daniel got into it. We did a video for Daniel. We did the Cousin Daniel Principal. There's a video. Uh, and what it was, he rocked up one day and he rocked up in the, the one that I've got on now. This is the original. That one there. And it's the White Dragon Noodle Bar. Now what they are is their film references. But they're not obvious film references. So it's not like walking around with like Star Wars across your t-shirt or I don't know, sort of, you know, Die Hard or something like that. What they do is they'll get a subtle, a subtle part from a film and they'll print a t-shirt on it. Like for example, if anyone's ever watched the original Blade Runner, you know the one with um, Harrison Ford and um, you know, uh, who's else is in it? Grutger. He's, he's the bad guy, and he like you know. And what happens is at the very beginning, um, Decker, Harrison Ford's character, the old sort of gumshoe detective guy in the big coat in the rain, and and he, he's sitting there, and the, the spaceship car comes to land, and the chief of police, the guy who does all the, the origami, origami animals, gets out, and as he comes in, there's a sign in the corner, a flashing neon sign, and it's that. The white lion noodle bar. There are loads out there. I mean, some of them are raving, you know, some of them tend to veer on the obvious, like Quint's shark fishing. Well, if you can think of a film with a shark in, I'm going to give you a clue there. Um, there's also another one which is called Amity Police. Once again, if you can think of a film with a shark in, <laughs> some of them are much more. Um, so one I haven't got at the moment is one called Blue Book. One called, there's one I've got called Encom. So, here it is, I love them, they're not dear. Um, they fit well, they're good quality, and it's just, I mean, occasionally you do get people turn around, there's one called the Marshall, was it, um, Marshall College of Archaeology. Think of someone who's an archaeologist. Maybe not just an archaeologist, you know, kind of. Anyway, um, and you get people going, oh, you're into archaeology then? And you go, no, it's these film tapes. If you try and explain it, they just like look at you like, what? So I tend to not try and explain it, <laughs> you know. But, so the quiz is, <laughs> get ready for Christmas, guys. Um, if you go back through the videos, you'll see um, me in various t-shirts. I'm curious to know how many can you spot? <laughs> try to name the films they're from, or don't. I mean, to be honest with you, if I was you, I wouldn't bother. I'd go, thanks for the video, video P. I'll just look forward to the next one. Tells me how to move boxes. But no, I love them. Last exit to nowhere. You can get them. You sort of uh, just stick it into Google. They're out there. I like them. I think they're kind of cool. I've kind of got enough now. And the other thing is they're dead handy because at a score, what do you want for your birthday, Dad? What do you want for Christmas, Dad? Get me a T-shirt. Job done. I'll have that new one. It's quite nice. So anyway, that's what it's all about. Jason, thanks for asking. Hope you're all well. And T-shirts aside, quiz aside, yeah, don't, don't do the t-shirts. Instead, you know what to do. Take care, take money.